Hello and welcome to the Coaster Giant channel. My name's Matt and today I'm at Chessington World of Adventures. I'm very excited. We're here for the launch event of the new land, Jumanji. It's looking amazing. We've got a new roller coaster, two new flat rides to get on. So what are we waiting for? Let's get in and check out what's on offer in this amazing new area. So this area is looking so good. You've got the B&M wing coaster, which wraps all the way around the area up to the Jaguar. You've got one flat ride off to the side, which is the Junior Miami. And then you've got food supplies, which is an overturned truck. That looks pretty cool. There's food in there. And then you've got one of these cool bouncy rides. I love them, so I can't wait to get on that as well. So yeah, this area, So this area is brand new to Chessington. This just used to be a field. Like we're being treated in a minute. Last year we got Vikings, which was just a field being turned into a load of rides and a cool area. And now we've got exactly the same at Chessington World of Adventures. Right, we're gonna get on the rides and check out the rest of the area. So first up, we're going on the Junior Miami, which is called Mamba Strike. Here's the main entrance. Lots of nice theming already around here. Bit of a cow pen queue line, but at least the fence is all themed up. It's writing everywhere. It's looking very fresh. Whoa, it's a big queue line. And there's the massive mamba, which looks really cool. Just stood behind the ride. So the queue line isn't fully open, but they're making us do a bit of walking. So Mamba Strike has a 1.2 height limit. You need to be accompanied by an adult or unless you're over 1.3 meters tall. So I'm loving the theming around here already. All the buildings, this little street area. Got grabbers, got lots of all this theming. It is everywhere. Even the vending machines, the Coke machines, are themed up in a nice little building. I'm liking this. I wonder if these are actual lights or just for show. Okay, it's time for the main event. So this is a B&M wing coaster at Chessington. It's mad. So this is a family park. I am judging this based on the fact this is a family park for families. And they've whacked in this massive coaster. So it's a shuttle coaster, it's a wing coaster. What am I saying? It's a, it's a wing coaster. So you sit on each side of the track, like Swarm at Thorpe Park, Thorpe Park. Um, but it's also a shuttle coaster. So you go one way around the circuit and then you go back. And not only that, it's launched. There's four launches on this thing. With top speeds of 44 miles an hour, I think. So yeah, very excited for this. So high restriction for Mandrel Mayhem is 1.2 with a maximum of 1.95, which is very lucky for me. <laughs> this whole area, even the outdoor queue line looks cool. Surrounded by all these well-themed buildings. It's like a map of the area over there. I didn't even see that. So you can see this is where you walk in. And then you've got this area in the middle, which I'll show you in a bit. And then you've got the two flat rides. And this is where we are right now. But yeah, the whole area looks so cool. Some, it's that permanent lighting, semi-permanent lighting. And it just looks very cool. So we're straight into the queue and we get put in these batch numbers. So I'm number six, number seven, which is the back row. And check out this amazing station. I'm loving all these lights. It's really rustic. I love the handprints as you come back into the station. This is looking really cool. Here we go, first go on the newest coaster in the UK, themed to the Jumanji films with the mandrills. Like literally like holding the seats. This is so cool. So, I've had one ride. All I'll say for now, 
is it was impressive. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I got a second to back on the left. Gonna do a few re-rides and then give you my full thoughts on the new roller coaster after, after I've done that. No, on the whole, everything's really well themed. So a few little bits that are disappointing, they need weathering in like this handrail, which is like shiny stainless steel. But do you know what? This is like the first thing. Like, we're on, we're on. So we're going on to the right hand side of the coaster. So we have to obviously walk over the track to get there. It's quite dark in here. Look at this station and these trains. It's so pretty. I love it. Absolutely love it. So let me just wait here at the gate. Let's go through to the air gates. I don't know if this is how they're gonna be dispatching the ride when it's open to the public. Hopefully not, hopefully we'll have people waiting in the air gates and everything will be a little bit quicker than this. So let's talk you through the layout of the ride. First of all, you shoot backwards out of the station into that spike, which is like an inversion at the back. Then you go back through the station where you launch up to 44 miles an hour through the smoke effect. Around the corner and through the first inversion ever to happen on a coaster at Chessington World of Adventure. And then you loop around, get a few nice little pops of airtime into another launch right the way up that spiral spike. And the hang time you get on there, you feel like you're there for ages. And then you run back around the track exactly the same way. You get another little punchy launch there. Back through the inversion, which is right over the entrance to the area, which is really cool. And then straight back into the really well themed station. So you come straight out of the ride into like an open air shop with a canvas over it, which is proper on theme. There's loads of, I really like these mugs. And these are all £15 each. I don't know if even that's theming, like the price tags are theming. We've got all the plushes. These bags are really cool actually. Nice little backpacks. Water bottles. And even buy Chimanji games. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice as well. It's really cool how it's outside but undercover. And then here's where you pay and they indoor bit of the shop. Okay, so I've done quite a few rides now on Mandor's Mayhem. So it's time to tell you what I think. So as I said earlier, this is a family park and it's got a B&M coaster in it, it's mad. So, do I think, like for me, is it one of the best coasters I've ever been on? No, not at all. Is it a really fun family coaster? Yes. Is it more forceful than I was expecting? Yes. Is it more intense? Yes. Did I enjoy it more than I expected? I did. I really appreciate, first of all, the theming in the queue line. There's loads of stuff going on in there. It's a really nice entrance sign. Not sure on how they're batching everything today, but that might just be for today. It is a special event. So I'll reserve judgment on that until I'm back here on Monday when we get to try it out when it opens to the public. I hope you can hear me because the music around here is really, really loud, which is good, it's very immersive. So, the coaster itself, it's a wing coaster. I love a wing coaster. I love any coaster where your feet are hanging. The restraints, 
aren't the best. They have got vests on there, um, which really rest on my collarbone. Um, doesn't take anything away from the ride, I would just prefer a ride without it. The good thing is they don't get tighter as the ride goes round, so they still stay quite loose so you can move about in your seat quite a lot, which is always good. So the launches, you launch backwards with a little pop of air time before the spike. I've done back row, front row, mid train, all sorts of different um, locations. Every ride has been really good. It doesn't make a difference where you ride, but obviously if you're sitting on the back seats, which face backwards, going up that first spike you feel like you're upside down like it does feel like an inversion i don't know what the stats are on it whether it's actually an inversion or not but it feels really cool personally i the best road ride i've had was on row seven i think so that's the the last seat that faces forward um that felt the most intense that got the most little tiny little pops of airtime, um and was the most enjoyable ride it just seemed to hit and get the full effects of all the launches really well on that row. So that was my favorite. But yeah, as I said earlier, it's really good on any row. It's not a world beating coaster. It was never gonna be, um, but it's so exciting to see it open. Like I remember seeing this when it first appeared on Twitter and the plans for the area and we were all like, oh, has that got an inversion? Is it gonna be an inverting coaster at Chessington? And then all the speculation about the manufacturer and everything and it's gonna be open on Monday. So, whoa, it's loud. It is so loud. So, yeah, it's a really good family coaster. There's a bit of a weird, it's not a rattle, it's not a jolt. It almost feels like, like the train needs to go faster. Um, I can't really describe it. It doesn't, it doesn't make the ride bad. It doesn't take anything away from the ride experience, but yeah, it just feels like it just wants to go that little bit faster and then you won't get that like little tiny bumps in the ride. Um, but yeah, I this is a great investment for Chessington. I'll reserve judgment on the whole um, throughput issues. Obviously, Chessington's well known for having not the best throughput rides. Um, I don't think this ride is going to have any worse. The music's so loud, I really hope my microphone's working. Um, yeah, it doesn't have the best report on any of the coasters here at Chessington and I would say that this is going to be as good, if not better throughput than um, Dragon's Fury. You know, you don't get many people through on that on an hour and this is probably going to be the same, if not a bit more. Hopefully they'll get the batching sorted and that will be okay, but we'll find out that on Monday. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to keep re-riding and re-riding it. I haven't been on one of the flat rides yet, so I need to try that. Um, but yeah, this is a coaster that's very family friendly very re-rideable if you're okay with going backwards on a ride um so yeah yeah I, I don't know i've waffled on for a long time now i've been going for four minutes um so i'll probably cut some of that out um there's a massive extended queue line which is all a bit cattle pen i would not want to be waiting in this in the summer it, um yeah i would not fancy waiting in all of that we're very very lucky today um, yeah, very lucky. We haven't had to wait for the coaster. We've just been getting straight onto it. It's been walk on. Um, so yeah, going to go and get some a few re rides. Have a little look around the area. I think we've shown you everything. I've shown you everything. There's loads of all the little bits of theming and stuff. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, let's get on a few more rides, and I'll catch you with you a little bit later. So my dad would love this. We've got a turkey leg, a whole turkey leg. So these are 14 pounds usually. We've got it for free, which is really nice of Chessington to give us that. So yeah, I'm gonna probably get in a right mess eating this. So in the center of the area, I think I pointed this out on the map. There's like this little, the board game layout. Well, there's like all little like stumps and like little jungle playground things. So like stumps to run over, really nice carved benches. They're probably not actually wood, but let's pretend they are. And like loads of really nice planting. I think this is one of them areas that as the planting grows and grows and grows, everything's just gonna get, it look much better. You can see all the ride area has got the green, the normal green fencing around that you see in other Merlin parks. But there's loads of plants planted up against it. So give it a couple of years and that's totally covered. It'll be really cool. I also like things like this. Just randomly breaking through the fence. Big hippo. Oh. 
So gotta say a massive thank you to Chessington World of Adventures for inviting Claire here today. I'm here with Claire. And a massive thank you from me to Claire because Claire's invited me as, as her plus one, that's there. That's the reason I'm here, so thanks Claire. What are you thinking about the new area? I'm really impressed, it's such a cohesive land. Like you just feel like you're, in, I don't feel like I'm at Chessington. Like I've always thought about Chessington that it's slightly chaotic, all the lands kind of blend into each other, but this is so on its own and you are just in the world of Jumanji when you're here, you're not at Chessington. And I've loved it, I've had a really, really great afternoon here and all the rides have really been fun. And Mandrill Mayhem was, more fun than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought it might just be a one and done, like, oh, it's a family ride, it's not for me, but it's definitely something I want to ride every time I'm at the park. Yeah. I've had a great time. Cool. It's quite re-rideable as well, isn't it? If you don't mind going backwards. I can see why people that get a bit queasy on rides would feel a bit queasy on it. Right, we're going to go and do a few more rides now, and then we'll wrap up the vlog a little bit later on. Okay, so this is Ostrich Stampede. The high restriction for this is uh, 1.2 um, if you're accompanied by an adult um, or 1.3 on your own. So, let's get on it. Again, loads of nice planting. So this is themed to the film. So I do have a confession to make. I've not... Um, I was a big fan of the original film. I had it on VHS for Christmas once, many years ago. VHS, I'm aging myself. Um, but I've not seen the more modern films. That's probably a really bad thing to admit, but I haven't. Um, but I do recognise the uh, ostrich stampede thing from all the marketing and stuff from, from the newer versions of the film. So that's what these are themed to. I mean, does it look like an ostrich? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're getting on. Oh no, we're not. But yeah, it's got like an egg in the middle and over the shoulder restraint. So it'll be interesting to see how this rides. Check this out. I'm stood next to a truck that's turned over by the mandrills. Mad. So, Ostrich Stampede was fun. Again, more forceful than I was expecting. Picked up a bit of speed, but the cycle was so short, I just wanted more. When it started bouncing, it was weird. It goes round, obviously. And then it started doing a really good bounce, like proper airtime. There was loads of space in the restraints, so I was like moving about. Um, and that lasted for probably 30 seconds and then it went into a kind of a, a slow bounce and then finished so that would be like 10 times better if they just changed the way that that works so that you get the more intense bounce at the end before the ride finishes um, and if it was a longer cycle like twice as long would be good on that but maybe the cycles will change who knows but yeah a lot of fun so that's up in this corner next to the food van let's see if I can do this Oh, easy. Another one of the little jungle climbing frames. Can we do it? Oh, it's not even like level. Oh, oh I've got such bad balance. Ah. Wait. Oh no, I've got people behind me now. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh! Completed it. So, I kind of wish, although that snake looks really cool, I kind of wish when you're on the ride it was in front of you so it looks like it's like gonna strike at you. That's the only thing I would change, but then it'd be blocking the view of the ride, so I don't know, but it looked pretty cool as you were going around if you were right near the snake's mouth. No pressure, Claire. Ah! Uh... That was a test line. Hey! Oh. Oh. I love the roof line in this place. It's so cool. So 
so that is it from our afternoon here at the launch event of Jumanji here at Chessington World Adventures. It is so loud here, there's themed music and audio everywhere in the new area and outside. I'm outside the land now and it's still really noisy. Um, had a great afternoon. Thank you very much to the park for inviting Claire and to Claire for inviting me. I loved the new coaster. It's not one that I'm going to be like putting in my top 10, but it's such a fun family coaster. It's a great like step up from the coasters they've already got here. If I was a kid, like when I was 10, 11 years old, I'd have been so excited to ride this. Like this, you can see this being so many people's like first coaster with an inversion. Um, it's pretty, pretty daunting to look at it as well if you're a kid. So I feel like the vibes of coming to Chessington, doing all the other coasters and then building up to this one, it would be like, it'd be great for kids, feel like a real achievement. I love what they've done with the area. Their theming is probably, no, it is the best themed area in a Merlin park, potentially any park in the UK, I'd say. The attention to detail with all the little Easter eggs, all the little signs, all the little things around the buildings, the way that all the buildings are themed up, the flooring's well themed. There's even like little skid marks printed into the flooring, so it looks like the Jeep's been there. Um, there's little games, you've seen the little like trails that you can do. I'm, I'm like really impressed with how the area as a whole has come together. The flat rides are an extra addition and in terms of like people, I've seen a lot of people saying that they're worried about the capacity of the rides. This is three new rides, nothing's been taken away. So, oh, it's so loud. So um, it's just gonna spread the people even more throughout the park here at Chessington. So three new rides with no ride removals can't be a bad thing. So thank you very much for watching this little video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give it a like. I would highly recommend heading down to Chessington and checking out the world of Jumanji. The only world of Jumanji anywhere in the world. The only Jumanji feed roller coaster in the world. It's a great new addition to this family park and I'd highly recommend it. Right until the next video, see you later.